So thank you so much for joining us. Now, there is this new variant that has uh, come up. Omicron, it's been uh, recently named by the WHO, the World Health Organization. So why is there so much panic with regards to this variant? And why is it more transmissible as uh, being stated by international uh, health experts? Look, uh, uh, Milan is essentially RNA virus keep on mutating. So this is no surprise. But what is surprising is that in a single variant, we could notice that there are so many mutation has accumulated. So, and that's how that it has created as uh, first uh, interest and now a concern uh, because, you know, only the spike protein, which has the receptor binding domain RBD, that spike protein itself has almost 32 mutations. It's a cumulative yeah. mutations, but in one variant appearance of so many mutations in, in one shot, definitely triggers a panic button. But uh, so one thing I would, like to, yeah, I would like to mention that none of these mutations are actually unique in that sense. All these mutations were actually observed in the other variants. Alpha, okay. beta, gamma, delta, mu, you know, lambda, all these uh, mutations were actually, but somehow they got accumulated in this particular variant, which we now named as Omicron. Is going. So, this so is some are also saying that there are more than 50 mutations. So, is it uh, too early or difficult to understand how fast this particular variant is mutating? See, it's essentially you have to keep on sequencing and see that what frequency they are mutating and uh, which populations, because it all depends. Uh, the in in future when we have all the sequences done, then probably we'll be able to comment that whether they are actually accumulated and stopped mutating or now they are actually keep on mutating. Amid the new threat of Omicron, the debate over the need of a booster dose has once again emerged. While top immunologists have suggested that the booster dose for the ones with weaker community is necessary, the government has said that they're still assessing the need for the third dose. Here's more on that. <laughs> 